Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'm going to show you how to make this exact animation from start to finish in Blender. It's going to be fairly quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by switching from Blend Render to Cycles Render and then click S, then Shift Set to scale the cube on the X and Y axis. Then go into Edit Mode, then select the top face and right click and click X to delete the top face. Then go back to object mode, go into the modifiers, add modifier, and add a solidify modifier. And then increase the thickness, and then we need to apply the thickness, so click apply. Okay, so now that we have made the water container, I'm going to click shift A and add a circle. And then click R, then X, then 90, to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. Then click G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis, and then G, then set to grab the circle on the Z axis. And then I'm going to click S to scale it down. Then click Tab for edit mode, and then go into vertices select, and click F to fill the circle. Okay, now we have the inflow, and let's add the domain. So click S to scale up the cube, then G set to grab it on the Z axis, then S set to scale it on the Z axis. And then let's go into the object settings and change it to a wire, like this, so that it's uh, transparent. And then let's select the inflow and go into the uh, fluid settings. So uh, add fluid. And then change the type to inflow because this is where the water is going to come from. And then change it to shell. And in the inflow velocity, I'm going to change the value on the y-axis to 1, which means that the water comes out on the y-axis and then select the water container and change the type to obstacle. Make it shell as well. And then select the domain and um, add the uh, fluid physics and change it to domain. Okay, and then increase the resolution to about 200 and the same for the preview, which is the uh, resolution of the fluid simulation. And then click bake to uh, bake the fluid animation. If you want a faster bake, you can always uh, decrease the uh, resolution, but if you want the same result as in the final animation, uh, you can use 200. So uh, let's play the animation. As you can see, the uh, water animation works. So we can go to the next step of the tutorial, which is to add the uh, pipe, the walls and the materials. So well, let's start by adding the modifier for the water to uh, increase the resolution. So I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier and then add smooth shading after you added the subdivision surface modifier. Then I'm going to select the circle, click Shift S to move the 3D cursor to the object, which is where a new object will appear. And then click Shift A and add a cylinder, which is going to be the pipe. Then click R, then X, then 90 to rotate the cylinder 90 degrees on the x-axis. Then I'm going to grab it a little bit downwards, so click G and then set to grab it on the z-axis. Left click to confirm. And then let's go into edit mode and delete the faces, so click X to delete the front face and then X to delete the uh, face on the back of the cylinder. Then the next step is going to be to add the solidify modifier and then increase the thickness to uh, something like this and then apply the solidify modifier in object mode okay so before I add the subdivision surface modifier I'm going to go into edit mode and then go into edge select and then hold in alt and shift to select all of the circles in the cylinder and then click N and then increase the mean increase value to 1 and then you can add the subdivision surface modifier to something like this and then I'm going to click A to deselect everything, then set to go into wireframe and B to uh, box select. And then click G, then Y to grab these edges on the Y axis. And then I'm going to go back to object mode. And the next step is going to be to add the wall. So click Shift A and add a plane. And then I'm going to rotate it on the X axis. So click R, X, and then 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. And then I'm going to grab it a little bit on the Y axis and click S to scale it up. Okay, and then uh, go into edit mode, select the two edges and click E 
than y to extrude them on the y-axis. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to object mode and grab the whole object on the set axis. So click G, then set to grab them on the set axis. And then once again, I'm going to scale the object on the X and Y axis. So click S, then shift set to only scale the object on the X and Y axis. Then I just want to make sure that the floor is set correctly. So uh, let's go to the side view, number three, and I click number five which is orthographic view, which is a two-dimensional view. Okay, and then I'm going to start adding materials. So um, let's start off by adding the uh, material for the water. So I go into materials, add a new one, and change it to a uh, glass material. And then change the IOR value to 1.33. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, add the lighting to the scene. As you can see, we already have a point lamp in the scene, so I'm going to change it to a sun lamp, and then increase the size to 1, and then click Use Notes, and increase the strength to about 6. And then I'm going to grab the sun lamp, so click G to uh, grab the sun lamp. So uh, let's grab it around here, and then left click to confirm. And then let's start adding the materials for the uh, different objects. So let's start off by adding the material to the pipe. And for pipe, I'm going to add a uh, glass material, but at this point it doesn't really matter what kind of uh, colors and materials you add. But I'm going to increase the roughness to 0.5, and then make the color a little bit dark, so uh, something like this. And before I continue the tutorial, I'm just going to change the rendering device from CPU to GPU. If you don't have a GPU, that's okay, you can just keep using the CPU, but it's going to take a lot more time to render. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, select the next material, which is for the uh, water container. I'm also going to make this one uh, kind of darkish, but you can obviously uh, choose whatever color you want for the uh, different objects. And then I'm going to select the walls, and I'm just going to try out some different colors and see what color I like. Okay, so I'm going to keep it like this for now, and then click numpad 0 to go into the camera. And then click Shift F after you select the camera to use the fly cam, and then move around with W, A, S, and D. And then left click to confirm the position. And before I start rendering the animation, I'm just going to change a few colors. So for the water container, I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Let's go into the color of the water container. And uh, yeah, something like this. And then I'm also going to uh, select the walls and make it a little bit more bluish. Okay, I think this looks nice, so let's go into the render settings, so click the camera icon, then increase the resolution quality to 100%, I'm going to change the frame rate to 30, and then I'm going to select a folder where all of the rendered images will end up. So uh, make a new folder, give it a name, and then select the new folder, and then give the images a name. So toot, and then I'm going to scroll down to sampling, and I'm going to increase the samples to around 300. And because I want to decrease the amount of noise in the scene, I'm also going to uh, increase the uh, clamp direct and clamp indirect to around one. And then let's start the rendering of the animation. And that's basically it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can just leave a comment. And as you know, I post a new tutorial every single week and I try to focus more and more on animation tutorials. If you want to take your Blender skills to the next level, you can also get the Great Tank course made by me, which is available at udemy.com. So thanks for watching and subscribe.